hello friends welcome to my channel go digit well uh, in this video we will learn about the common function available in sales and purchase setup okay so uh, to begin with let me open up the sales and receivable setup and uh, let me click here and here as you can see as, uh, this is the sales and receivable setup and for those who don't know about this setup let me give you a brief definition that what exactly this setup actually uh, deals with so for all the sales transactions that we do in the system uh, like sales order sales quotation sales invoice sales returns or sales uh, credit memo for all these documents uh, all the number series or any functionality related to the posting discounts and VAT setups and any adjustments related to the sales process uh, we define in this sales and receivable setup and same thing is applicable to the purchase setups also okay so uh, as I told you that uh, in this uh, video we will learn about one of the common function available in both sales and a purchase setup so that common function is exact cost reversing mandatory okay so uh, what is the definition of this exact cost reversing mandatory first we have to learn about this then we will see how it reflects or what are the changes this function make in our sales documents so uh, as you can see that this is right now uh, in true mode so uh, the function this function actually works like that that uh, in order to post any sales transactions in the system it's this checkbox or this check will uh, or this function actually checks that whether any sales invoice is already posted against the return document which you are trying to post currently okay so uh, this means that if you have not posted any invoice of that product which you are returning back from your customer then it will give you an error that first you have to sell any product then only you can create or post any return of that of that same item okay and if we do not make this checkbox to true then system will not add this validation in your return documents and you can conveniently post any sales credit memo without any linking or direct reference for any sales invoice okay so as you can see right now this is uh, already checked to true so uh, let me create any sales return document so for that create a sales credit memo document here and input one of your customer against which you are returning your item back so my item let's say here is 1251 excel black wheel and the quantity which my customer is returning to me is 100 okay so in ideal situation this means that uh, it might be possible that in uh, in the past I have I had sale uh, this customer of this item of uh, 100 quantity but now uh, because of any reasons this customer is returning me back these 100 quantities so that is why I am posting the sales credit memo but uh, as you know that uh, I have not posted any sales invoice of these hundred items of these hundred quantities of the same item in the system so ideally because I have not uh, done any sale so we should not post any return also and this is where that function comes into the into the picture that it will stop us so let us check that if I go into the posting and click on preview post then see the error is coming that application from item entry must have a value so application from item entry 
error does not uh, like uh, this uh, this is a technical term but in a layman language i will tell you that uh, this error suggest or this error means that because there is no sales invoice reference available against this line or against this return document that is why system is throwing an error but as i told you before that this validation system only checks when you make this change in your sales and receivable setup okay if you do not make this checkbox to true in your sales and receivable setup system will not throw any error in your sales return documents okay so this is the functionality or this is the working of exact cost reversing mandatory so i believe that whenever you are working in your with your client or in any of your project please make sure that this exact cost reversing mandatory should always be checked to true in your sales and receivable setup and purchase and payable setup okay otherwise there would be uh, some problem in your ledgers in case the, your customer or your client directly posted the returns without making any invoice reference in in your system okay so that's all in this video and i hope to see you next week with a new topic of dynamics 365 business central keep watching my videos and if you like this then i request you to please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you so much